Dave looking for Greenwood. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Hand off. Turbin trying to get to the corner. Not going to be able to do it. The Rams defense gets the stop. Welcome to the Ram Report with Steve Fairchild. Looking at a fire deep, has a man wide open. It's Kaufman out at the 30 yard line. He makes a diving catch. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition here of the Ram Report with head coach Steve Fairchild. Ryan Roth back with you as we talk some Colorado State Ram football here in the first portion of the programs and talk some CSU Ram volleyball coming up in the last part. Joined by Ram head coach Steve Fairchild at Colorado State coming off a loss on the road at number 19 TCU. And uh, Steve, talk a little bit about some of your feelings from that game. Did, did you feel like your team competed well? Well, we did compete well. and. I thought we played a very, very physical football game, which which uh, was good. We were able to stop some run, uh, get the run game going on our side a little bit, which is tough to do against that defense. We made a few errors. Obviously, the the interception for a touchdown was a big play in the game, but uh, kids played hard and competed. That was a very good TCU football team, uh, you know, and I thought we played with them. Obviously, we didn't do enough to come away with the win. Yep. But again, that Ram offense playing with a true freshman at quarterback making his first start and uh, the defense getting a spark from the return of Michael Sisson. And we are underway here in Fort Worth. First down and 10. First offensive play. Play fake. Grayson rolling out to his right. Can a fire downfield. That's Matt Yam wide open at the 40. 45 Yam up to midfield. And he has it into Frog territory. Now Grayson going to step up. Has a ton of room. 25. Grayson up to the 30 yard line. Broke. Good tackle. And he's out to the 35. Frogs rush four. Grayson over the middle. Cut there. First down out to the 32. In the second quarter, Pahol to throw on third down. Now is under a bit of pressure. And down he goes. All the way back to the 41. Grayson takes the snap. Play fake wants to pass. Grayson steps up, fires near his side. That ball caught. Byron Steele at the 36. Play fake. There he is. Grayson there he is. wants to go down the near side of the field. Caught there by Greenwood inside the 10. He's dropped down at the six yard line. 24 yard attempt. Kick is away. It is up. And it splits the uprights. And it is good. And the final play of the first half results in the first points of the afternoon for Colorado State. From the shotgun, it's Grayson. Grayson to throw on third, has some time, steps up. Grayson going to dump it off to Wolke at the 20. Out to the 25, he's chopped down as he got to the 29-yard line. Grayson cut up field, has the first down into Frog territory. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45. Grayson on the play fake, looking to go to the air, looking for confidence. up. He's going to go short. Ball caught at the 45, Luke Greenwood. Points here essential on this drive. Grayson under pressure through an interception. Tank Carter at the 40. Touchdown, TCU. And the first big mistake meant by Grayson from the shotgun. Here comes the pressure now trying to get out of it. Rolls to the right side. Grayson still looking. Fires deep down the field. Raymond <laughs> Carter wide open at the 20. Cut to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Colorado State. It's been pretty evident here today that Garrett Grayson is a good, good quarterback. Well, again, 34 to 10 is the final score in that one. And, and let's begin with Garrett Grayson making a first start in his entire career. True freshman. I thought he handled the situation very well, especially going up against defense like that. Yeah, he really did. I was I was curious because, uh, you know, we threw him in against San Diego State without much preparation. But this is a little different. This was he knew he was going to be the starter uh, against a very, very good defense football team on the road. But I thought he handled it well. He's uh, you know, you can tell he's calm, collective, he knows what he's doing, and when we make adjustments, he's on the same page. So uh, I thought he did a nice job. Yeah, a couple of things. I, I thought it was a great play call in the first play of the game for you guys to to get him on a rollout, get him some early confidence. Yeah, he can move around a little bit and get him a throw there early. And, uh, you know, we had some designed runs for him that I think helped us a little bit too. So he did a nice job. Yeah, and that's one thing that I think Ram fans got to look with with Garrett Grayson is the athletic ability, and that really showed through in the touchdown pass to Carter. Yeah, it kind of bought some time. They pressured him off the edge, and he bought a little time and made a nice throw down the field. You know, he, he ran for over 1,000 yards in high school, so, uh, you know, we knew he was a guy that had some mobility. All right, defensively, Michael Sisson returns. How big of a boost was that? I was just huge. You know, he's, he's a playmaker, and, uh, you know, I was just really, really happy for Mike to see him, you know, his season not come to an end, but have a chance to put the pads on again. And he spoke to our team uh, before we got to the stadium and did a very, very nice job because you can measure a lot of things in football, but you cannot measure how important it is. And 
we got one of the greatest stories in college football with this guy. It's so darn important. He just found a way to get back. Yeah, again, broke his ankle back on September the 10th and his hometown just 32 miles away from Amon G. Carter Stadium. Any uh, ill effects on Sunday or Monday after that? No, I think, you know, we're, we're pretty banged up, but we came through this game without uh, any additional injuries. And, uh, you know, we got Mike back, which helped. And uh, hopefully we'll get a few more guys back here as, as we go along. You know, as the defense as a whole, I thought played well. And that's a TCU team that, again, averages 41 points a game. They average 472 yards of total offense. You guys held them uh, under 100 under of what their season average was. You know, we did some really nice things defensively. I mentioned how physical we played, but we, we ganged up on their run a little bit. But, uh, you know, you can look at stats and they say one thing, but, uh, you know, we had a lot of three and outs. You know, we did a better job on third down. Uh, we held them some field goals in the red zone. We just did some things defensively that uh, help you and, and gave our offense a chance. And, and again, we fly around tackling. I thought we tackled pretty well. We're, we're a good defense. Yep. Now the Rams fall just a little bit short. And coming up here on the Ram Report, we'll take you inside that Colorado State locker room. Stay with us. Up here, there's something that makes the remarkable an inspirational thing. Taking our work with this out of the lab and putting it into these all over the world. Chasing tornadoes from the shadow of the Rockies. A special sensitivity that revolutionized an industry. All of this in a great Colorado town. It's an exciting place to live and learn! Colorado State University. Inspiration happens on higher ground. Twitter is great. Here's one. That darn cat is in the tree again. Where's a seven-footer when I need one? Here, kitty kitty, come on. Heard you looking for a seven-footer. Wow, Coach Miles, this is crazy. I just tweeted that. Trevor, you got this? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's more of a dog guy. This ought to do the trick. OK, thanks. That's what we're here for. Go Rams. Well, the Ram Report with head coach Steve Fairchild. It continues. Welcome back, everybody. Well, let's take in that Ram locker room. Colorado State down at TCU this past weekend. We had edged out by the number 19 Horned Frogs. It, it's a Ram locker room that was a bit disappointed, but certainly buoyed by the return there of Michael Sisson. It felt good to be back on the field, be back out there with the team because it's been hard just watching from the sidelines. But I wish it was a different outcome, though. From the start of the game to the finish of the game, like, I feel like everyone had faith in Garrett. You know, all week he's been practicing hard and it showed on the field. You know, he made a lot of great plays and, you know, he kept us in the game as long as he could. I mean, I feel like we can play with anybody that we've played. We've had it on our schedule and I was proud of everybody. They didn't, I didn't feel anybody give up throughout the entire game. So. You know, just to come out and just play with the intensity that the defense was playing with. Um, you know, I'm just proud of our guys, you know, because we fought. Um, you know, we didn't come down and we didn't come here and lay down. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm very proud of our defense. Um, and, you know, it, it's a big thing for us. I think this would be good for us, you know, going, going into the next last two games, um, you know, with Air Force and Wyoming. Under pressure through an interception. That same mistake in practice, and mm -hmm. I thought I'd correct it in the game, but I didn't even see see him. I mean, yeah. I thought Crockett was running with the guy behind him and yeah. he was going to be by himself up the sideline. That's how he responded. You know, he didn't get down on himself. You know, I even talked to him and told him to let it go because he's going to throw picks. It's, it's, it's life. You know, it's going to be some adversity, so you got to fight through it. And, I, and I'm glad he fought through it and came back with a touchdown pass. Sure. Seeing Garrett out there, this is his uh, first start. You know, he made a lot of great plays, and a lot of people helped him make those plays, and it helped us as the defense continue to go. Steps up. Grayson going to dump it off to Wolk at the 20. You know, we know we're a great team. You know, we play great against TCU. And we believe that we can go out and uh, finish the season out with a, you know, with the last two games. Rackbo was the one to play in, and he got it. Final score, TCU 34, CSU 10. Well, again, when look inside that Ram locker room there, we mentioned Garrett Grayson getting his first career start. Uh, Pete Thomas, of course, spraining his knee in that San Diego State game. What's the status of Pete as we head into the Air Force game? Well, it's, uh, you know, we're going to get him back at some point this season. Uh, during the week of practice, we'll see where he's at. He's day-to-day. -day. Uh, hopefully, he'll be available, but uh, we're going to prepare Garrett to be the starter. 
it. Well, when you talk about uh, quarterbacks, you can look to basically your entire wide receiving core. I mean, you can go right down the line. Just about all of them played quarterback, and including Matt Yem, the Fort Collins product, now in his senior season. And well, Matt had a big catch to open up the game against ECU. Yeah, he kind of caught a crossing route on that opener and uh, opening play. And but boy, you could see his speed. He took off cross field. I thought he was going to break it there. And, Really an explosive pass play for us. Matt's done a great job. He plays all four receiver spots for us. He's like a coach on the field and uh, just having a great senior year. I'm really proud of Matt. Yeah, in fact, you even had a pass play in there for him. Uh, yeah. uh, it didn't work that particular time, but I guess that's one of those good things about the receivers you have. You can you can run that halfback pass with a wide receiver pass. Yeah, we've had Charles Lovett throwing a couple touchdowns this year. Uh, Crockett's throwing a touchdown. So. Uh, you know, in those plays, sometimes they don't work, but they're worth it. You know, yeah. they're hard to defend, so when you show them, it gives the defense a lot to think about. Well, again, it's always good to get homegrown talent on the roster, and Fort Collins' own Matt Yem is one of those. 20-yard line, fly sweep running to the right side. Okay, he wants to pass into the end zone. Has Yem! It's a touchdown! In fact, it was Charles Lovett. That was, a, that was a small, fun part of a pretty terrible Saturday, actually, but uh, they uh, hand, handed it off to Charles Lovett, which was actually fun because I, I hosted him and kind of been uh, come close friends with him this, this season, and he threw, a, he threw a good ball to me, and it was just a fun experience to score against the number five team in the country, but I wish the, uh, the outcome would have been a lot different. Finds Matt Yem, who has made his mark in the receiving game here today yeah 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 growing up growing up for Collins uh, and, and then staying here for for college has been a, has been a great time and that I uh, I just loved every minute of it and wouldn't change it change it for anything I'm a history major right now but uh, I plan on coming back after the uh, fall semester and taking some more science classes getting some prerequisites to maybe try to get into dental school steps up now in the pocket fires near side Matt Yam has it at the 28 Really good if we have that boot in our hands, that's for sure. That's one game that I've been kind of putting on my calendar for a long time, but after that's going to be a surreal feeling. Uh, just me, me and the rest of the seniors kind of went by fast. Went by slow, but it also went by fast, and kind of a surreal feeling when it happens. That's what I'm going to miss most of all is the, is the guys in the locker room and, and the relationships I've gained over these four and a half years. Again, that's senior Matt Yem from Fort Collins. Stay with us here on the Ram Report. When we come back, we'll take a look ahead at the Air Force Falcons and we'll take a look in the past as well. We'll revisit some of those great memories of the Rams and the Falcons in that Ram-Falcon rivalry. Stay with us right here on the Ram Report.